Before you begin creating your video content, you want to develop a video content strategy. Avoid the common temptation to just post about your products and services, and consider how you can create relevant video playlists, which will meet a wide range of your target audience's needs. Yes, this can include sales, but it's time to think out the box. Posting just a handful of relevant and high quality videos is always better than posting a high volume of useless videos. Any combination of the ideas below can be used as inspiration for content your customers will engage with. First up, start with your FAQ. An excellent place to begin is take a look at your customer's most frequently asked questions. This can include industry questions and product questions alike. Answer the questions via a video or a video series and drive instant engagement. Next up, educational and instructional how-to videos are another popular choice. Here's a few examples. Does your product require assembly? Great. Create a step-by-step -step video of how to put it together. Do you sell a digital product? Create a video of the screenshots for performing common or advanced functions using your software or app. Do you sell a tool that can be used for a versatile range of functions? Create a video highlighting its most common features or functions. For example, a makeup demo. Is there an adjacent software, product, or tool your customers use? Create a video on how to integrate it with your product. You can even create videos that you use to train your team and post it online in an invitation-only video playlist. Next up, client testimonials. Your passionate and happy customers are often eager to share their great experience with others. The next time you receive a raving online review or direct email, ask the customer if they would be willing to record a client testimonial. And yes, it's okay to incentivize them for their time. Then there's live streaming an event. If you have an upcoming live event, fundraiser, speech, product demo, or convention, take a few minutes to record the event and upload it to your YouTube channel. How about interviews and team profiles? One of the ways to connect and engage in our current digital world is to do an online interview or video profile. This can be short and sweet and answer a few questions, or a little more robust. The goal is to make you and your team feel human and relatable. Also, take advantage of the opportunity to interview industry innovators you come across and post the video to YouTube. Then there's mini commercials. Most small or mid-sized businesses don't have the budget to produce and place a TV commercial for local or nationwide placement, which makes YouTube videos the ideal alternative. In most cases, it's still best to have an online video expert produce and create your mini commercial, including professional audio, voiceover, scripts, graphics, and editing. However, the price will be far more cost-effective than a commercial designed for TV. That being said, you can turn to DIY video tools to create whiteboard videos, videos from images, or to edit the footage you shoot. Some of the best DIY video tools include Nutshell, Magisto, Animodo, Videoshop, iMovie for the iPhone, and iMovie for Macs. Then there's videos that support your content. As mentioned earlier when we were talking about statistics, when given the choice, 59% of executives would rather watch a 30 to 120 second video as opposed to reading a blog post, article, or email. Also, email marketing campaigns with videos have a 96% higher email open rate. This means you should look for ways to create image, text, and whiteboard videos that support your written content. The DIY tools above will help or outsource to a video designer. Share your story. Don't discount the value of sharing engaging content designed to share your company's story or a story that'll emotionally connect with your subscribers. For example, think of all the viral animal and baby videos that trend on YouTube. While babies and pets may not be relevant to your target audience, actively look for other ways to share stories that will brand your business in a positive light. Now let's talk about mapping out your video content plan. Use the video categories above to break your video content up into relevant playlists and map out how many videos you want to create each quarter. Your organic and your paid video marketing plans must be integrated with your entire online and social media marketing plan. For example, after your video goes live, you can add it to an upcoming blog post as well as share it to your other social media platforms. In fact, let's talk about posting videos outside of YouTube. One of the unique things about video content is that unlike blogs and articles, you can post the same video in multiple places online. Look for every opportunity to post your relevant videos and remember that you can share them more than once. For example, if your how-to video is a hit on Facebook, post it again in a week or two. This will help increase views, likes, comments, and shares. Here's just a few places to post your videos. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and other social platforms like that. Within articles and blog posts. Within relevant paid ads. Upload to relevant email marketing campaigns. Add to one-off relevant emails. Add to your newsletter. To relevant website pages. To the video section of your website. Even if you have the option to add a video independently from the source file and not just from YouTube, upload the YouTube link. 
This will help to create more backlinks and send more traffic back to your YouTube channel. Next up, organically optimize your YouTube videos. Before you upload a new video to YouTube, you must make sure it's organically optimized. This is similar to optimizing your profile image and banner as detailed earlier, but a bit more in-depth. First, there's renaming your video file. Before you upload your new video to YouTube, create an SEO-optimized file name. Use Google Trends or a paid keyword tool to name and save your video with relevant keywords. For example, you may be tempted to name your videos chronologically, but the perfect smoky eye is a better name than makeup tutorial number 12. Input all metadata. If you're familiar with filling out the metadata for your web pages and blog posts, it's somewhat similar within YouTube. Your title needs to include the question and or relevant keywords viewers will type in when searching for information on YouTube. The more specific, the better. Just make sure your video name makes sense. Then there's the description. Utilize video description to highlight the key points within your video. While the description can be up to 5,000 characters, the first 160 characters with spaces is all that populates in the search results. In other words, make sure there's a keyword or two in the first 160 characters, and don't forget to invite your viewers to subscribe to your channel. Captions and subtitles. Search engines can't crawl for videos, but they can crawl and index your captions and subtitles, so make sure they're SEO optimized. Don't forget to add links. You want to be sure to add relevant external links to your video description. While you certainly want to link back to your website, sales site, or other social media platforms, your organic performance may improve if you find quality links that are relevant to your videos. For example, link back to the official source of your statistics. Where many B2B and B2C marketers fail is in uploading videos to YouTube without organically optimizing their files and metadata, and without a plan for posting their video content elsewhere. With the strategic approach above and a steady stream of new videos, your subscription base and YouTube video community is sure to grow. Now, as great as all this info is, it's not going to be of any use to you or your business if you don't apply what you've learned. So roll up your sleeves and get ready to execute the steps in the following battle plan. Step one, spend an hour brainstorming your YouTube marketing goals. Step two, think about what kind of videos are most useful for your business or niche and develop a content plan. Step three, take 15 minutes to create and optimize a YouTube channel in accordance with what you learned in this guide. Step four, start recording and uploading the first videos you decided on in step two.